Let's talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog was a fast-paced platformer released in 1991 as the launch title for the Sega Genesis. It was a lot of fun and quickly made Sega a household name by giving some steady competition to Mario and Nintendo. Since then, Sonic has been in a lot of games, many of which became instant classics, while others... Uh... Yeah, not so much. But no matter how disappointing the games got, Sonic has somehow managed to maintain one of the biggest fan followings of any video game character ever. And he eventually branched off into other media and spawned a line of merchandise. Action figures, t-shirts, an extensive library of comic books, and four, count them, four animated TV shows. But we're not going to focus on these today, however I'm sure many of you are wondering what I think about them, so for now I'll just sum things up. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, this one's really good! And what the fuck? But today we're gonna look at this. Sonic the Hedgehog the Movie. Originally a two episode anime OVA that was repackaged into a movie. By the way, what's the deal with movies that call themselves the movie? Couldn't they just come up with a clever subtitle? Hell, I'll do it right now. Transformers, The Wrath of Unicron. G.I. Joe, The Attack of Cobra La. And Sonic the Hedgehog. Was this really necessary? Anyway, let's check it out. We open to what looks like the set of Lost, where we see Sonic and his sidekick Tails. Oh, and I believe this is the first time Sonic isn't voiced by Jaleel White. Which is great, because there's only so much of that raspy, nasally voice you can tolerate. Let's hear how he sounds now. You just don't show off so much that you forget to look where you're going! Old man, those things are dangerous. Stop riding them! I miss Urkel! Wow, that was bad. I mean, Jaleel had an annoying voice too, but at least he could act. Voice print approved, and print necessary for certification. Open up this cell rock without your electronic brain! Certification unnecessary. You are robotic. Anyway, some owl guy in an airship shows up and is about to crash. We've got to do something to help him! You're the one who can fly, you do something! Huh? You're no help! Jesus! I think Tails has some anger issues! He's not so cute anymore, is he? So anyway, Tails goes to help him. Very impressive, Tails! Thanks, I had some good practice before on my body board! <laughs> Lucky for me! Uh, hey, uh, you guys know you're crashing, right? While they're distracted by their own witty banter, Sonic steps in to help them. Uh, old man, those things are dangerous. Stop riding them! What are you talking about, Mr. Sonic? I know how to handle them. I realize I'm a little older now, but back in my day, I was quite the racer. Back in my day, I was quite the racer! That is, before my mind started to go. <laughs> Where am I again? So Woodsy the Owl here tells Sonic that the president wants to meet him and... Wait, the president? The president of what? The casino zone? So they fly off in a way that's not safe at all, but somehow make it to... The White House, apparently. Man, I really do not understand the world Sonic lives in. But it turns out that Dr. Robotnik is there and is holding the president and his daughter hostage. Now, Sonic, I've got the upper hand. This is about the entire planet of freedom, so you better do as I say. No way. Don't you care about pretty young Sarah? <laughs> Help me, Daddy. Oh, yeah, Sarah, the inexplicably annoying cat girl they decided to throw into this story for some reason. More on that in a minute, though, as Robotnik explains that he was attacked by a giant robot called Metal Robotnik, which sabotaged his massive generator, which could destroy the planet if it isn't fixed. Huh? <laughs> Glad to see they're taking this seriously. Someone has to get through Metal Robotnik's traps. Go into Robotropolis and stop that generator before sunrise. And it should be the fastest one here. Forget about it. You created that stupid contraption in the first place. Why should I have to go around cleaning up your messes? No, no, no. Sonic, please do it. So Sonic reluctantly agrees and they head out. But then we get this. No, 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 it's not fair. You always beat me every time. All right, 
one more. Just give up. We've played a hundred times. I'll stop being your hostage. All right, start it again. See what I mean? And we have to deal with her throughout this movie. <laughs> no, no, you beat me again. I can't win this stupid game. <laughs> Fine. What? I quit. Ooh. I want to go for a drive. Absolutely not. No, no, I want to. Take me on a drive now. Shut up. You know, I wouldn't even say anything about her, but she's just so goddamn annoying. What is this? Yahoo! Yeah! This is Oi. great, Robotnik! <laughs> I get to drive first! Ugh, let's just go see how Sonic and Tails are doing. They crash land in Mordor and head for Robotropolis. Hey, look, it's just like the game! <laughs> then they end up in... Post-apocalyptic New York? The fuck? They run into Metal Robotnik and have a pretty funny battle. Then they have a chase all over the city, but then they get stuck with his... butt glue? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Suddenly they're saved by Knuckles, who's a cowboy for some reason. Sure, why the hell not? So, with the help of Sheriff Knuckles, they defeat Metal Robotnik. Oh look, it was a fake. Who didn't see that coming? Sonic better enjoy his victory now, because once he gets to Robotropolis, he'll have to fight something far more evil than Metal Robotnik! Yeah! What do you mean worse than Metal Robotnik? Are you talking about yourself? You better keep your hands off my Sonic or I'll never forgive you! You know, she just defeated Robotnik. The movie should just end right there. They make their way to Robotropolis to shut down the generator, and this is totally not a trap, by the way. <laughs> What do you know? It was a trap. Sonic, are you alright? Oh no! It's the Sega Saturn logo! They're gonna be sentenced to be in mediocre and poorly designed Sonic games! So it turns out that Robotnik lured Sonic here to collect data on him so he can complete his greatest creation, Metal Sonic, and use him to take over the world. Sonic tries to take Metal Sonic on, but keeps getting his blue butt kick. Tails and Knuckles regroup and try to find a way to track where Metal Sonic is going. Meanwhile, ugh, really? Robotnik, don't you think I look cute? Mmm, it suits you very well. Why did you give me a wedding dress? Wedding dress? That's not a wedding dress. That's what we call a shameful attempt to get people to watch this stupid movie. They figured out that Metal Sonic is heading to the North Pole because apparently he can destroy the world from up there. The land of the sky is held together by a huge glacier which joins the continents. Beneath the continents lie rivers of magma that spread all over the planet like blood vessels. If the tip of the glacier was punctured by an explosion, the magma would rush to the surface, melting all the ice. The very backbone of our planet freedom would be shattered! The rotation of the planet would hurl the continents into outer space, where they would be blown to pieces. Wow, so all the land in this world is held together by fragile sheets of ice. What kind of shithole planet is this? So everyone heads out to stop Metal Sonic. You should get ready now, Sarah. <laughs> Every second this character is on screen is a reminder of why I stopped watching anime. Sonic and Metal go at it again, over the area if damage could destroy the world. Good job there, Sonic. Then Tails and Knuckles show up to help out. Uh, you're a perfect target for me now, fuck! <laughs> Steady, ready, careful, fire! Uh. Yes! Oh. oh no, another design failure! Okay, that was a little funny. Tails tries to short out Metal, which gives Sonic the upper hand. The President shows up and gets trapped in his ship, and they try to rescue him, but suddenly Metal saves him because apparently 
He found his humanity, or hedgehog, whatever. Then he falls into the magma pit. Sonic tries to rescue him, but he refuses. And this would be a pretty dramatic scene if not for one thing. Wow, you built up this badass character, and that's the voice you give him? Uh, let me see, how should I describe his voice? Awkward! Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> oh no! You're all fooled! I still have all of Sonic's data here! Next time, I'll build an even stronger metal that won't be handicapped by Sonic's personality, and then I huh? will take over the entire huh? planet! <laughs> it must be very humbling to be in the presence of such a great scientific mind! Ah, what are you doing? Ah? Oh no, my comeuppance! <laughs> well, anyway, everything is back to... normal? And we end with Sonic crashing into the title. This movie was not the worst thing I've ever seen. It had a few decent moments and the animation was okay, but for 1996 it probably could have been better. It was very nonsensical, but the main problem was there didn't seem to be a point to this movie. I don't think it was to promote a game or anything. It was full of annoying anime-isms, and on top of it all, it was very short, just under an hour. That barely even qualifies as a movie. Overall, it's just forgettable. The Adventures of Sonic and Sonic Underground were bad, but in a what-the-fuck sort of way. Sonic X at least had a large cast of characters that maybe you could find someone you'll like, and Sad AM was actually very well written. If you're looking for a good animated version of Sonic the Hedgehog, personally, I'd stick with that. But if you're still curious about this movie, I suppose there are worse things you could be watching. Well, that's it for Sonic the Hedgehog. Was this really necessary? And you know what? December's coming up. Let me see if I can crank out a couple of Christmas specials. I'll see you guys next time. He knows now why we cried, but it's something he can never do.